Okay, I just want to say a few things here, clear up uh, previous videos that I've done and statements that I've made because as we move forward, some of the things that I thought and held to be true, now I see in a different light. I'll just quickly say them. I've always said that tribulation in the Bible, Genesis to Revelation, if you get on and have a look at Blue Letter Bible and put in the word tribulation or tribulations plural and read every occurrence of the word tribulation, you'll see that we're to expect it, to endure it, to even glory in it because great is, uh, great tribu you know, you will go through tribulation to enter into the kingdom of God. That's what the Bible says. Okay, even John on the Revelator in the book of Revelation on the Isle of Patmos says, and I was on the island in tribulation. So, what? you can't even say that there's a future seven-year tribulation coming because life is tribulation, right? Then there's a period in Matthew chapter 24 that talks about great tribulation. And great tribulation begins when you see the abomination of desolation standing in the holy place. Matthew chapter 24 verse 15 onwards. Therefore, when you shall see the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet... Now you need to read that in Daniel chapter 12. Stand in the holy place, whosoever readeth, let him understand. And then a few verses down in 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, though not ever shall be, except those days shall be shortened, there shall be no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Shall be shortened when the gathering, of up, gathering up event occurs. Now those days of great tribulation occur are called Great Tribulation when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place, Obama standing in the church of the Nativity on the 22nd of March 2013. So from there on, we're in Great Tribulation. It just means tribulation and it's great because it'll be more extreme. And if you can't see Great Tribulation in the world today when you turn on the nightly news, then go back to sleep. Have another beer or smoke another joint, whatever you do. Right, so here is the purpose of this video. And when we come to Obama's last 42 months, we will enter into a time of the wrath of the Lamb, chapter 6 of Revelation, and the wrath of God, chapter 16 of Revelation. Now what I want to say here is to all false prophet crazy people, on YouTube, who speculate and put a rapture date forward every couple of days, or every week, or every month, or every few months, or whenever. People putting channels, channels putting rapture videos out every day. I won't name them. There's loads of them. Loads and loads and loads of them. What does Matthew chapter 24 say? Then if any man shall say unto you, verse 23, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders or like a couple of channels. There are not, they, they call themselves, they, they say that they show signs and wonders, but half of the, most of the stuff they put forward as a sign and a wonder is just absolute rubbish. Just crap. Just nonsense. Absolute nonsense. And shall show great signs and wonders, in so much that it were possible shall they they shall, shall deceive the very elect. Yeah, well, people are being deceived. Christians are being deceived by these channels every day. So that scripture rings true. Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he's in the desert, or he's coming tomorrow next week because of the Jewish calendar or a new moon sighting or a blood moon. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert. Go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers. Believe it not. There you go. There's the pre-tribulation, secret rapture, dispensational, blah, 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 refuted. There is no secret rapture. People disappearing, nobody knowing where they're going, where they've gone. Behold, he is in the desert. Go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers. Believe it not. Why? Because when he comes, it's going to be as... For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, being the days of great tribulation, like the stepping up from tribulation to the days of great tribulation, then you see the sixth seal open. If you read the rest of the verse... 
chapter, sorry, chapter 24, verse 29, through to the end. It reads the same in chapter 6 of Revelation, the sixth seal rapture. Thanks for listening.